Time now, 70 minutes past six. British car production was at its lowest level in 65 years last year. Darshini's got all the details in the business news. Morning, Darshini. Morning, Martha. Thank you. Yes, the issues that car makers have suffered will be familiar to many manufacturers. Also coming up, as we've been hearing, wearing masks in shops is no longer mandatory in England. But how much will actually change for customers? First, though, the number of cars built in the UK last year at just under 860,000 was a third lower than in 2019. The industry lobby group, which compiles the figures, says the fall was largely COVID-related, reflecting a shortage of semiconductors and supply chain issues, and of course staff shortages, which prompted factories to pause or cut production. A lack of new vehicles led to a spike in prices of second-hand ones. Well, let's go further into the detail here with Mike Hawes, who's the chief executive of that trade body, the SMMT. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Now, the majority of cars that are built here go abroad and uh, we get many parts in as well, of course. We've also had car makers having to grapple with new trading arrangements with Europe over the last year. How has that gone? Yeah, it, it, it has been a it's been a difficult year, and as those figures describe, a really dismal one in terms of output. There has been a number of factors which which you've uh, mentioned there, and yes, on top of it all, we've been dealing with new trading arrangements. Now, the industry did everything it could to be prepared, and largely that has been you know, relatively smooth. It has incurred additional costs though, because whilst we were able to benefit from uh, the the trade cooperation agreement, the deal we have with the EU, which avoids tariffs, it doesn't avoid other tariff barriers and additional administration, which has required additional uh, people and additional cost to everyone, whether you're exporting and importing, even though some of those import controls only came in on the 1st of January this year. So the additional sort of red tape there to grapple with additional costs, but it does look mm. like that's something that car makers have got under control. As we go into 2022, um, the forecasts are for production to go back over a million, but we've also had Tesla.